All right, so the day has come. The day has finally come to start my project to build my own. Yes, built, not bought. It's my motto. Heat pump dryer. I've got the dehumidifier torn down. I've got it all exposed. This is just a regular dehumidifier. Got a compressor, we've got an evaporator, we've got the condenser, we've got the blower fan. So how am I going to make this work? Well, I'm going to pretty much just wire this directly to my dryer so this runs with the dryer. I do not think I'm going to have this fan energized as of yet unless I need to. The dryer's got a built-in fan that we're going to duct into it. Um, yeah, right, so this is what I've come up with so far and it's just, you know, what I'm trying to do now is just kind of prototype. So this is going to sit here for the, we're going to call that the return. This is going to go right here. This is going to be the supply. So this is going to sit something like this. this duckboard box here. This exhaust from the dryer is going to come up to the duckboard box and then the supply from the dehumidifier I'm going to tie I'm going to tie that into this chute here. So it'll be a recirculating system. So this is basically a 5kW element, pulls 20 amps, so that's about 5,000 watts. This is 240 volt, this is 115. Clothes dryers use 115 volt motors anyway, so I'm just going to splice the wiring from the dryer into the compressor. So whenever the dryer is running, the compressor is running. This is going to do it real easy, real simple today, proof of concept, prototype, and if it works out well, I may, you know, improve on this, the wiring and so forth, so, um, yeah, so, right, well, let me go ahead and get working on some more of the ducting and the wiring, and just kind of wanted to show you guys this so far. All right, guys, so let me fill you in. It's been a while for me, but only seconds for you. And this is where we're at. This will be, obviously, this will be the where the water collects. Temporary, of course, because there will be no automatic shutoff like it used to have. We've got the box put on there. We've got the supply duct ready. We've got the supply duct on the dryer ready. I'm just going to use the inner liner of some flex just as temporary you know work around and this will come up here to the top of the box here so it'll just be a continuous loop through the dehumidifier from the dryer I've got the wiring done and basically the uh, line voltage comes from the motor because every clothes dryer has a safety design that the element, what used to be the element, will not come on until the motor's running. So we use that. We will come in here, line voltage to the thermostat, which I doubt this thermostat will ever get hot enough to open anymore. And then to this line voltage up here to a 115 volt coil relay as well as a delay on brake 
timer that is going to control the relay which in turn is going to this power cord going to the compressor so the compressor won't be able to cycle quickly and go out on overload. Now I will be cleaning up this wiring probably looks a little bit dangerous but you have to remember all dryers use all three wire dryers older ones use the ground as the neutral for the motor so it's really no different what I'm what I've done here this is just temporary I want to see how well this works because I made sure that I can put this dryer back hundred percent stock if it just doesn't work so I feel pretty good about what we've done so for now I'm going to start to connect the ducts and then we'll see how it works All right, well, we're ready to do our first test. I know it doesn't look super pretty back there, but this is just my proof of concept. I got my thermocouple. Thermocouple in there to see what kind of temperature we get out of it and so I'm gonna go flip the breaker and <laughs> see what it does alright guys the breakers on just gonna hit the start heard the compressor did kick on So a couple minutes in and we're getting a pretty decent temperature here. I guess the real test is going to be I'm going to need to wash a load of clothes and we'll see if this thing works. I put my amp clamp on the compressor. It's pulling about 5 amps at 115 uh, volts. So that's you know roughly maybe 600 watts. So definitely an improvement over the uh, 5,000 that it used to do. So I guess the proof will be if it actually works. And right now you can only use uh, use time dry. But uh, I guess it was a success. To really know will be to do a load of clothes in this contraption. So we're about to do the first real test of it. We got. Pretty good amount of clothes in there. Show you guys the bucket is dry. We're going to put it to 30 minutes. We're going to see what it does in 30 minutes. Go ahead and turn it on. Put the bucket in. Let's see how it does in 30 minutes. Alright guys, so I already had to change something on it. The uh, the compressor only ran for about 5 minutes and then you could just hear it starting to labor and she cut out on overload. So what I did was I wired up its internal fan also. Um, 
I'm kind of just monitoring the uh, the amp draw because it got up to like nine. So it's at six now. Um, One twenty-five degree. So maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll solve that. If it keeps kicking out on overload, I don't think there's anything I can do to make this setup work. But uh, so far, so good. She's running longer than before. At least the compressor sounds better. So we'll uh, we'll kind of let it finish this. It'll be more probably like a twenty-five minute cycle. But. Uh, We'll see if she'll continue to run or if she kicks out on overload again. Okay, so here's what happened. It ran for about 15 minutes. You can see on the timer here. And uh, the temperature got up to 145. My amp draw was about 7.5 and, and it just overheated the compressor again. So before I just ditch this whole project I'm going to get a a uh, bimetal thermostat disc that cycles off at about 135 140 and I'm gonna cycle this unit to try and maintain the uh, the temperature to not let it get so high and and see if that works um, of course it'll use the uh, delay box and in there to not cycle it too high but let's I mean they're damp but it's definitely really humid in here so could work but it's gonna need some more work <laughs> all right so I picked this up today hopefully this will be the uh, ticket to getting my creation to work So it's just a snap disc thermostat, it's adjustable, so that way I can fine tune it to cycle the compressor off, keeping the head pressure down, the amp draw lower. Yeah, it's going to definitely extend the time it takes to dry a load. We're going to take this here, and I'll have to kind of see what the right setting is on uh, this thermostat, because that's going to go... I'm going to put that like right here. What this will do is this is going to kill the power to my relay and recycle the time delay and I'll probably shorten the delay down to like two and a half minutes. And I got a, another load of clothes here. We'll just rinse those, get them wet again and do another test and see if this thing will. Basically I want to just be able to set it and forget it, you know set it and forget it and do a load and have this cycle on and off and not cut the compressor out on overload which is what it was doing yesterday and basically yeah see if we can uh, get this thing to work okay well we've got it installed hopefully the lighting is adjusting out there so now instead of the power feed coming directly to the delay on brake timer anytime the dryer's on, it now has to go through my thermostat. So the power will come through the thermostat and then feed the timer so that way when this opens it will stop the compressor. Now this is just uh, low current. This, all this is the coil for the relay so low current there and once that opens it's going to start a two and a half minute timer here and then turn the compressor back on so I'm going to go ahead and load the dryer back up with some wet clothes we'll monitor the temperature in this duct and see what is the setting we need to to tweak that. Right now it's set at 110. Here the critical temperature was about 145. Obviously there's going to be some temperature drop and this is not going to sense the air 
as nicely as this does. So we'll tweak it. We can go all the way up to 130 with this adjustable thermostat if we need to. So we're going to go ahead and push this back against the wall, turn the power back on, and see how she does. Okay, well, we're ready for round two. Let's close our door. Hmm. All right, well, nothing's ever easy, is it? I'm an idiot. I was, you guys probably saw it. What's wrong with this thermostat? Close on rise? Wah, wrong. That's not going to work. I need this to open on rise. I was too fixated on the temperature range. So, have no fear. Joe is here. I'm just going to have to use another little 115 volt relay I had laying around to reverse that operation. So, let me get that wired up. So basically, I'm going to have the uh, the compressor on a normally closed set of contacts. When this thermostat opens, it's going to open the circuit. So we'll be able to make this system a open on rise system using the same adjustable thermostat because they don't have they don't have an open on rise at this same low temperature range, which is what I need. So you know, you live and learn. Well, I'll get this going and we'll try again. All right, well, we're ready for round two. Getting a little more complicated in here, but, you know, it's what it is. So this relay is now going to cut the power like I was hoping this thermostat would. So the thermostat closes, sends power, energizes the relay, opens the contacts to the time delay, opening the compressor relay. So this should work and yeah so we'll go hit the power and start the test like I was trying to do okay all right success she's running So I'll monitor this and see if I need to adjust the thermostat, make sure it's all working. And then I guess we'll just kind of close this video out and see if it's going to work for a couple weeks to try it out on a regular basis. Okay, it should cycle off pretty quick. We're reaching that temperature. I raised the uh, thermostat that I installed up to 120. It cycled it off a little cooler than necessary, so. There it was. So now the delay on make timer has started its countdown. Okay, so we're waiting on the countdown timer to begin. There it goes.
We will see how the clothes are at the end of the cycle. It's coming up to the end. Okay, well the cycle's over. And the clothes are pretty dry and they're nice and warm too. So, I would call this a success. Pretty good amount of water in there. So I'm happy with that. I guess this will conclude the heat pump dryer project. Long term, we'll have to wait and see. Short term looks good. Alright guys, thank you.